Hey friends, good morning. I'm in my backyard and I wanted to share it with you. I'm sitting down in a bed of oxalis right now. All this kind of clover looking stuff. It used to have lots of yellow flowers, um, but they're all gone now. And the oxalis is kind of, kind of dying down. Um, there's some bigger stuff starting to take its place. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Um, I'm going to be leaving this backyard soon. This garden. So I want to do one last kind of tour of love. I have a lot of hope for it. It was not loved much in the past. Um, oh, whoa, look. Hey, it's a spider. Really big spider. And some mites. Anyway, I have a lot of hope for it because I put like a truckload, a veritable truckload of mulch, uh, a cedar tree that was mulched up, an entire tree distributed over this backyard. That was late in the fall and stuff is really kind of uh, moving and composting. Uh, I'll show you. So if we pull back the oxalis, the oxalis like came up through the through the compost, I think. There we go, I think that's a decent angle. So this is all cedar mulch. All these chips. It's kind of keeping the moisture down nice in here. And it's really starting to, stuff is really starting to work in there. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. So much activity, fungus, animals, plants. See if I can get. Oh yeah, it's like a good six inches or so here before of mulch before we get down to the dirt at the bottom there. Good stuff. Lots of lots of biomatter for for this backyard to kind of to lush in. To thrive in. There are these ramps. These are ramps. They've these ones with the white flowers hanging down. They're like they're a family of uh, um, onion allium, and you can eat them. They're they're uh, oops. They're kind of um, chivey tasting. Um, some of these ones are coming from really far below, so sometimes the bulbs don't come out, but mm. Ooh, that was a good one. Spicy in the morning. 
oh, here are some, these are the oxalis flowers, they're these yellow ones. Um, There's a bunch of, let's go take a walk around. There are some potatoes. They got planted. They look like they're doing okay. And we got a big patch of nasturtium over there. I love nasturtium. It kind of creeps out from the corners. some some morning glory in there too oh look the morning glory is climbing up the nasturtium <laughs> look at these big pads let's go inside <laughs> Look how glowy green it is. <laughs> kind of like underwater. Just lovely flowers too. Look at those. You can eat these ones too. kind of sweet, spicy. I learned yesterday nasturtium is nas tertium, nose, nose twister. Yeah. Check out that patch of morning glory that climbed up. It's really lovely. I've been digging in the mulch here to give some for, get some uh, mulch for Ambika's planter box. It's really starting to turn into, starting to turn into dirt. Lots of nutrients in there. This is kind of the backyard the back area you can see this is a um, pluot tree right there um, that I planted with Steph uh, planted it maybe six months ago let's go take a look It was pretty root bound when I first got it in the pot, maybe a gallon pot. And transplanted it to the ground and it didn't do so well. It kind of lost all its leaves. Um, so I thought it was gonna die. Uh, but it was kind of fall and it was time to lose its leaves anyways. So I just uh, watered it a lot and 
it came back in the spring. Um, and now it's producing these amazing, so heavily laden with pluots. Its leaves weren't doing so good in early in the spring, the fresh leaves, because they were being eaten by aphids. But I got some, uh, some ladybugs to come eat the aphids and kind of left it alone for a month. And I came back and it was just doing great. So many pluots. It's almost like too heavy, too much. Look at, look at this branch. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one over here. I kind of wonder if I should pull off some of the pluots so that the branch doesn't break, but I guess, I guess the tree will kind of do its thing even if it breaks or regrow stronger where the stress is, something like that. Super tree. Down at the bottom here we have some, uh, these ones with the yellow leaves. Uh, this is a uh, Eliagnus species. It's, uh, the common name is Gumi. Um, it's got a, um, it's, uh, its roots are uh, symbiotic with um, some nitrogen-fixing bacteria. Uh, so there's some good uh, nitrogen-fixing activity going on down here. Um, and that makes, that makes uh, fertilizer to, and I planted them pretty close to the, 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 um, the pluot in the bottom, so the idea is they kind of share some, uh, share some of their nitrogen fix in action. And these, these fountainy ones right here, these green ones are comfrey. They just, they just explode. Huge biomass producers. Um, so many fresh shoots. Oh, hello, slug. You're, looks like you're doing the eating, huh? There was some animal that was digging up this compost earlier in the spring, and they almost destroyed the the comfreys, or like I thought they destroyed them. Um, just beaten back to the roots, uh, but they they came back. This one is thinking about making some flowers. Those are some buds right there. Oh, we also got some rosemary over there. That's to bring all the bees to the yard. What a nice breeze. The pluot, I was pretty lucky. It got, the pluot that I planted got fertilized by, by this, uh, this plum tree in the back here. You can see it's got some, some plums starting there too.
This is English Ivy. Before it made these blue fruits, it had these flowers that the bees really loved. This this vine, this ivy plant was just like humming maybe a hundred bees at once or something. There should be some sunchokes growing up here somewhere, but they might have got out-competed. I also like kind of dug them up and look at this morning glory, it's just like bursting upwards. I think the sun jokes will come back. These are some ash trees. I don't think they're ash trees actually. Nick and I figured out what they what they were, but I don't remember. There there's a big big mama tree over there and it made all these these babies over here. And they're just starting to put forth shoots. You can see the the top of this one. I love it when these brown, brown bits are just on the edge of bursting forth like this. Or that one there. That tree back there is really being overrun. Kind of looks like a jasmine. Whoa, check out these spider webs. Oh look, it's got some berries. Huh. Maybe not jasmine. I wonder what those are. Just binding like crazy.
Thanks for taking a look.